Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bongo Collects. I'm Bongo. I'm Nadia. And we're going to go through £250 worth of 50 pences to try and find the rare and valuable ones, the ones that you can find in your change, hopefully ones that are worth more than the 50p that's stamped on them, and we're going to try and get something for Lady M's book in this episode. But before we start, a couple of shout-outs. So first of all, we want to say uh, get well soon to Anne Astrop. I uh, believe you're not very well, Anne, and we hope you make a, a speedy recovery soon. So good luck to you. Hope you're okay. Yep. And the other shout out is to Rob Quine. So Rob is a, a friend of the channel, has been for many years. We've done some coin trading. He lives on the Isle of Man. We've done some coin trading. We met up at the Isle of Man when we were away last week and we did some face value coin trading. So that will upload on Sunday. I'm going to go through my full Isle of Man haul, all the two pounds and 50 p's that we found on the live stream, ones that I found um, after the live stream, they've still got in change and still got at the banks and also the, the face value swaps I did with Rob as well. So Rob, massive thank you to you and um, yeah, stay tuned for, for that or turn on them notifications and subscribe for Sunday's video. But Rob also, he was the gift that keeps on giving. He actually gave me, yeah. me and Lady M a couple of gifts as well. So I just want to uh, show you what he gave us. So he gave me this. This is Her Majesty's 95th birthday set and it shows six different portraits of Her Majesty through the ages from the 1950s to the 2000s. That's cool. So it was very kind. They are in uh, brilliant uncirculated condition. I believe this is something that uh, Westminster Coins did. Um, that was, that's their, their kind of thing. So from the Isle of Man, we've got the, the Queen there. Hopefully you can see it in the light. First time out with the full lights this year as the as the as the you'll probably hear the rain on the on the studio but yeah there's a nine i'll zoom in and hopefully we'll see it there we oh, go that's better. there we go 1950s got the 60s there with a trendy kind of like a headband look if you go to wimbledon or something there's the <laughs> made a diamond there's yeah. the, the 70s so everybody wears a trendy headband made of diamonds there's the 80s <laughs> 90s and the 2000s as well so rob you you're very the naughties oh, oh no okay naughties <laughs> lady am you feeling naughty never no you no. oh i got excited for a minute there so <laughs> thanks for that and lady m got this so it's a lovely rupert uh ingot so i think it's i think it's silver plated i think it is yes. new adventures of rupert so you like that don't you very, do. look how Super shiny cool. it is. Look, you can see the camera no. in there can you see my bit there we go yeah, there, he there, is. there he is mm. oh. what a <laughs> handsome man can we see yeah hey there you go Hi, right on my nose yeah right up there uh, right up there so yeah thank you very much for that and rob also give us some change checker trading cards as well so if anybody needs any trading cards give me a shout bungle at gmail.com and i can make sure these come your uh, come your way they're, uh, they're, they're outside, it's different. It's like a different colour. Right. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. I don't I recall know. them. I know they released them in stages, didn't they? Is it three, yeah. three or four? Maybe it's even five increments, but I didn't realise yeah. any of them were grey on the outside. Mm. Mm. Interesting. So if you need them, get in touch. BungleCollects at gmail.com. First come, first serve. And before I move on to the 50p's, I just wanted to say... I got this while I was in the Isle of Man. It was so crisp, I thought I would keep it. Five pounds, they have their own notes. <coughs> got uh, Castle, Castle Russian on there. We didn't see that one, but we did see some other sites. So if you want to subscribe to our other channel, go and have a look. It's called Adventures of Bungalow Lady M. Got the top five things to do on the Isle of Man. Uh, spoiler alert, the Castle Russian is not on there. <laughs> and also it shows the adventures of how I got hold of all the... 50 p's and two pounds going around the various banks so well worth a little look i might if i think on i'll put it in the description but if not find our channel adventures of bungalow lady m and do to check that out by a lovely crisp five pound note there this will go on the geek shelf in the in the cupboard in the coin cupboard that i have with all my special trinkets and things right lady m enough of my waffling bring the uh, bring the bags in you've got to have a choice of two they are both rolly over bags okay this is from the both from the bank. Yeah. This is I think got a date on it, but it's got a Voltex on it. This one has got dates on. It's got an interesting stamp, the mm. Cumberland, 19 Front Street, Brampton in Cumbria. So they come all the way from Cumbria. We came from that way, didn't we? We did. Uh, when we got off the ferry from the Isle of Man just yeah. a few days ago. It's signed. It's got the 16th of the night, 24. So which bag do you want, Lydia? That one. You're going to open that one. Oh, this is from Voltex as well. So it's yeah. gone by the Voltex Cash Centre. So we're going to open this one now. I'll open this in the next episode. So I'll keep this to one side. And if Lady M, if you can do the biz, let's get these 25 lovely sealed uh, 
uh, sorry, 25 lovely rolly over bags into the into the proceedings and see what we can find there. Eh? I won't show your book because I've waffled on enough there. We'll just yep. get straight into the 50p mm -hmm. action. Or just one little point of order, Lady M. Mm -hmm. we will, these will be going back into the bank, so if you can stack them rather than that they're not going into the uh, they're not going into the tub. Okay. Mm -hmm. 2010, so I've started with a commemorative there. We've got Girl Guiding. Just worth 50p that one, and pretty common. Can't remember the mintage, eight eight million something. Oh, 2011, Lady M, there's oh, a good sweet. start. So we know that we know that we we have not got a bag that's been picked through, so that's an excellent start. Have we got a cash in? Let's find out. That is the memorial coin. Queen passed away in 2022, and that came out to commemorate her passing away. We'll take pride in this one. So I'm doing all right for commemoratives. Yeah. Four commemoratives already, and I'm only halfway through the, through the bag. You can have that one. Mm. No, I'm going to give it back. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yes. So let's see what this Olympic. Oh, what? You all right? Yeah. Just, just, I don't know, you just jumped a bit there. You made me kind no, of jump for nothing. Just, right. Gonna bag on the floor now I'm going to have a little feel it. underneath. Right. I can tell you, it's <laughs> definitely this. Definitely is not football. <laughs> this definitely is not. So a mm, couple of you couple said of that last time. a couple of episodes back, I found a football for Lady M's book, and uh, I was convinced it wasn't after having a little feel, and it turned out to be. But this isn't. This has got a grid on it, so I'm going to say this is kind of. Uh, this is like either volleyball tennis. or tennis or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it's rowing. So I was close. I was close with rowing. Uh, okay, so so the, so the, what I could feel was the writing. Now I'm almost certain that you will not have rowing. Yeah, I'm rowing. Confident I do not have that one. Ian will tell you. Ian Ritchie, he will tell you that we are short of rowings. It's very very rare we find a rowing. So almost certainly, Lady M, Super. you've got something for the book there. So we will show mm -hmm. the book at the end. I wasn't going to show you because I waffled on, but we'll have a find. I'm certain you will need that, so we, you will get to see the book at the end of the episode. I haven't found anything yet. No? Oh, well, I'm doing all right. I've got a Sherlock Holmes there from 2019. I'm just clearly bringing you all the luck, aren't you? Yeah. I'm doing so well in my book, so far yeah. ahead, that um, clearly the universe is feeling sorry for you, the coin mm. the coin universe, and it's it's bringing my, my luck's coming through, but on your behalf. Continue. Yeah, I couldn't think of anybody more deserving than the new lady out to get to get something from me. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh, another commemorative card. Looks like it, possible Beatrix Potter. I think just by the little bit that I can see, like the Beatrix Potter anniversary. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It is. Nice. Keep this one. It is a keeper, and it's in nice condition as well. Mm. Part of the two, oops, part of the two thousand. You just dang fire. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the two thousand and sixteen Beatrix Potter set. It's a nice nick. I'll be keeping that one. I'm sure you'll have that one though because you yeah, only need, you only need Olympics now, don't you? And, do. and the queue, of course. Well, speaking of territories, there is that. Um... Go on. Think of Grossi. Oh yeah, Grosvenor Castle. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was wrong. Yeah, from the Bank of Jersey. Yes. So if you also would like to know or you're interested in us going around Jersey, because not only have we done a video of going around the Isle of Man, we also did a video of going around Jersey and Guernsey. Mm. There's a diversity. So on our second channel, Bungle, sorry, Adventures of Bungle and Lady M, you will see us going around Jersey and going to that very castle. We went around the island and found the sites that you could find on their 50 Ps. Mm and other other denominations and the Grone Castle was one of them. Mm -hmm. So if you like travelling, travel vlogs, you like to see us out and about, if you're interested in territory coins or any 50p's or in fact other denominations like I said other than UK ones then our second channel is the channel for you. Get over there. Doesn't it's got less than six hundred subscribers. So it's a very slow burner that one. And um, it's not just coins either, is it? No. You know, it's, there's other, we've, we've got the movie locations and TV show locations. We've been even to uh, Disney World in Florida and done a, a vlog from over there. Mm -hmm. We do a bit of beekeeping. So, you know, you know we, keep, we keep bees. Or Lady M keeps bees. I just kind of, <laughs> I just get in the way. So our beekeeping adventures are on there. 
We've uh, done a bit of reselling, you know, get car boot sales and charity shops and things like that. And then reselling them, or trying to resell them for a profit on, on eBay. So we've done a few videos on that. So it's a bit of a mix and match, isn't it? But I like it. What's wrong, Lady? Can you hear that noise? I can hear the rain. What noise do you think, though? Well, if you stop and, stop and listen, you might hear. Oh, it's the washing machine spinning. It's all good. Right. Okay, Still panic. Me. Panic over. Yeah, big panic jam. over. Right. I forgot the washing machine was on. Now I can't remember. Oh, Ian Mitchell will be shouting at the screen about. You know, if you try and find a salmon. Right. And it's a 2023. Ooh. Nice. Uh -huh. There's a. We'll come back to the salmon in a minute. There's a 70th jubilee there so the queen three out of the two out of the three triple crown two out of the three royal 50ps found and this is either a salmon or a okay, um a or a coronation and i think it must be a coronation it's got 50 pence on this side in 2023 and on the salmon 50 pence is written on the other side so there we go there, there is you know, you've completed your triple yeah. crown Coronation set, uh, coronation awesome. coin. Public libraries. For King Charles's coronation, all three found. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. I got them all as well. Yeah, well done. Always nice to complete the triple crown. That is for sure. Anyway, so I will avoid the wrath of Ian. I'm not getting, I'm getting my obverses mixed up. I was able to, just by the skin of my teeth, work, mm. that, uh, work that out. Thankfully, didn't make a an absolute buffoon of myself. <laughs> there's another co 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 commemora co commemoration of the, the Queen. Mm, there's another Passing away. Ooh, that looks like another jersey yeah. to me, another Grosnier Castle. Oh, yes. Nice. Mm, very strange. Two of them in a, in a yes. bag. Yes. Uh, no. Yeah. Very strange. So the territory coins are technically. Well, they're not, they're not UK coins, so... That's Paddington at the palace waving his flag. Technically, I guess. You can't use them in the UK, although I suppose any shop can accept anything. And I don't think any... If, if you can if you can, uh, you can sell it in... You, know, you can accept licorice, I suppose, as a, as a form of currency. The shops, they can accept what they want. But technically speaking, the Island Man is not, is not a UK circulating coin now the jersey <laughs> right mm. that is uh which is what we were actually about that was the battle of hastings how did uh, that one end up there i assume you put that there oh did i, I, I done. battle I of hastings nice find you know not like not common as such uh, not scarce as such Ooh, is this a bunny well it is but it's a rabbit peter rabbit 2017 it'll go down there High mintage, well, that's a nice condition combination. Another heroic act. Will we complete the triple crown twice? We'd need another 70th Jubilee to do that. I do like listening to the rain on the Magic Studio roof. Yeah. Another. Um, the Memorial. Maybe you could try and be quiet for a bit and let people enjoy the clanking of the coins and the oh. and the rain, the rain on the roof. Go and try and be quiet for a bag. Oh, oh there's a there's another seventieth. So we have indeed. Oh. <laughs> Look we, at that. We have indeed. Jeremy Fisher and it's all green around the gills. Right. Well, it's funny you say that because I've got a couple of green coins here. Oh, so yeah. it's as if Jeremy's been in and. Mm, mix, mixing amongst the bags, throwing himself around, putting mm. it around a bit, and uh, green in some of the coins. Look, mm, yeah. I think Jeremy's been all over that. Yes, dictionaries. Right, we've only got four bags left, so let's uh, let's just have a moment of silence. Let's just open the bag each without talking.
It just shows you you can be quiet when you want to be. Oh, mm. this is not, that doesn't look like a 50p. That is not a 50p. Ah, you fuck. You've been diddled. Well, let's see. Well, it looks that way, you mother four, fuckers. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, you mother fuckers. There's just no need for it, is there? So we have 40 pence down. 40p down. Okay. Well, the jokes are however, put that um, rowing in because it's mm -hmm. worth more than 40 pence, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. There's the dictionaries. You found one of them, haven't you? I've heard of, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been alright, actually, hasn't it, for commemorative coins? Yeah, not bad. Nice bit of variety. It's even though I've been robbed by 40 pence. Shocking. Shocking. Sh 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 or is that a thing if people aren't doing each individual bag and just doing it as a big bag then the the grammage is negligible oh must have had a christopher iron side as well have you heard of one of them no right i'm going to give the honorable mention to this beatrix potter anniversary that will get snappled away into bungle's collection and that one can f off and let's see if we uh let's see if you did indeed need rowing lady i highly suspect that you do mm -hmm. you need the kew gardens Aquatics, athletics, badminton, and basketball. Badminton, goodminton, because you can't have a bad Olympic. Goalball, gymnastics. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> Goalball, gymnastics, handball, hockey, sailing, shooting, tennis, taekwondo. I said tennis twice. Say tennis twice? No. Sailing, shooting, table tennis, I think I said rather than tennis. Did I say it right? Anyway, table tennis, taekwondo, tennis. Triathlon, weightlifting, and wrestling. What are the chances? But you've got everything else, haven't you? It must be me that needs. Uh, I must need it. I wonder if Ian was there thinking, "Oh, look at that! He's saying he hasn't found it, but he has. He doesn't realise he actually has found it." Let's have a look. Did I need it? Yes, I did. So it's a blocker. Oh, well, a blocker for Lady M. So you can put that in. The, we'll put that in the back of the book mm. for some horse trading later on in the uh, in the year uh, if required. Have you, got, have you got fencing? Uh, no. No, I only had a saw all this the okay. little while back, so now I still need fencing. So we'll put that in there. So we'll see. We're going. We're going to see if we can. We're going to go all year to see whether we can fill the album. So it's been cold. Okay, yeah, there we go. We'll be hunting all year, twice a week, and if we can't fill it by the end of the year, we'll do a mega live stream, two thousand pounds worth of fifty p's live, and that's on New Year's Eve. And we can swap out to try and complete each other's book as well. So, hey ho! Right, we're all done, Lady M. When we're going to get me forty? And we're going to get me forty pence back? Yeah. Shocking. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again, Rob. Quine rounds with swine, and 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 get well soon. <laughs>